Hey there guys, what's going on? Covered Assassin here, back with another Call of Duty World War 2 video for you today. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a free calling card for the game once it comes out. Now, we will need to use the Enigma machine. If you've not seen this before, one of my previous videos, I showed you how to find a bit of a zombies easter egg towards a new zombies mode that's coming. Now, we are going to use parts of that video, but I've actually found some more information to extend it, which allows us to get a free calling card. So, if you've seen the previous video, please ignore the first sort of couple of minutes as we're going to go back through basically that video but then there's going to be some sort of added bits to it anyway you need to head over to duty.com slash classified now when you load it it will bring up this enigma machine and then you need to type the following codes into it so like the previous video we're going to type in the i u f d j and then all you need to do is to flick the switch once you flick the switch, it'll kind of re-roll and bring out some sort of extra letters for you. So we've got A-N-E-W-H. And we're going to go straight ahead and pop in the next one, which is B-H-L-O-P. If you guys uh, want any of these codes, uh, I'm going to put them in the description anyway. So you don't need to mark them down now. I'm just going to run from really quick so I can show you how to get this calling card. So you flick the switch. I thought I'd already done. Maybe I've not. There we go. So we get O-R-R-O-R. And then the next one, all we need to do is to type in the following, which is J M U B A. Again, exactly the same thing. Flick the switch, and we get the third light on. Flicks through, and the screen's going to go dark. Now, the words that have come out there is actually a new horror rises, which yet again, as I explained, uh, points towards a new zombie storyline that's coming. And um, so we get a little folder. Click on the folder. Obviously, we get these two pictures. Uh, you've seen this in the previous video, I'm not going to go back into it again, so let's just click on back to the decoder. Now we've got five more codes that we need to type in now, which will push us uh, with some more sort of hidden information. So the first one is G N U L V. Same as before, just pull the switch. And we come out with C R O W L. Then the next thing that we need to type in is Y G X S H. Next light comes on. Again, flick the switch. And we get E Y R O U. And then our next code is C E O D L. Third light's on. Yet again, flick the switch. And we get S S E A U. And then our next one is I B uh, H Q B again. Oh, wait a minute, that first one hasn't gone in. If you make a mistake, don't worry, you can just flip the switch. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you can just flip the switch and it'll reset itself and you can sort of do it again. So come on. Do, do, do. So start again. So it's I. B H Q B Light goes green, flick the switch. So we get R E D Z U. Next one we need to do is Q K E Q W. Yet again, just uh, flick that switch, and we've got all the lights on now. And this brings us into our next part. So yet again, the screen goes black. And this time we get presented with loads and loads of folders. Now I forgot to mention, those, obviously the characters that came out, the letters after we'd re-spin it, uh, sorry, spun it, actually came out as Crowley, Rusia, Red and Zussman. And these are the four characters that we actually play in the campaign. So as you can see, the first one here, we've got uh, Crowley. So we uh, click on him. Uh, we get a letter here um, and a map of France. Uh, I'm not going to read this. I'll let you guys read it when you actually obviously go for this calling card yourself. So you click that. We then get a sort of an image here, like a, a blueprint, blueprint, blueprint of a submachine gun. So this is going to be one of the weapons within the game, and a sort of another picture here. Next moves on to Zussman, another one of our characters. Again, we click on him, and it opens up some more sort of folders there. Two little pictures there and a sort of a, a memo. Again, click it. Uh, a letter there that's been obviously written either to him or from him. Uh, yeah, from him. 
And then another picture of another sort of gun there, which is the carbine. Uh, click on it again. We then get Ruzia. We uh, open this up. We've got sort of a newspaper clip in here, a picture which says partners, question mark, and then like an ID card here. Now, this looks like this guy is maybe possibly a spy because it looks like it's a German sort of ID card. Um, so this guy is possibly a spy. And this is like a fake ID. So uh, click that again. We get a sort of a little letter in French there. Uh, and then obviously occupation of Paris. Click it again. Daniels, which is obviously red. Uh, and this is sort of our main character. This is the character that we play as uh, throughout the campaign. So a little picture there. Uh, recently engaged, a picture of his uh, girlfriend or wife there. Uh, sorry, girlfriend even, if they're uh, just recently engaged. And then a letter from the President of the United States of America. Again, I'll let you guys read through this at your sort of own leisure. Uh, another letter there. And then obviously we get a, another picture of a, another gun there, another sort of blueprint. Click that again and it goes back to sort of the original two pictures that we got from sort of the zombies mode. Um, so we'll just click past them. Then you get this like little sort of dossier from the war office that says first in, first to win, well done soldier, now claim your calling card. Click on that and then what will simply happen is a web page will open up just like this. Uh, success, you broke the code, now sign in to claim your award. All you need to do is to select which console or basically which system you're using, so PlayStation, Xbox or Steam, fill in a very basic registration form and that's it, you will get that custom calling card as soon as the game comes out. Now I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to drop it a like, if you're not a subscriber to the channel already then please make sure to subscribe, once this game comes out we're going to do loads of content on it and I'd love for you guys to watch it, so yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification button, that means that when we do drop any content you're made fully aware of it. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to check out other Corporate Assassin videos. Thank you. Bye.